pigs and guns here. I'm just gonna show you a little video here. I just picked this up at Harbor Freight for $30. It's just an ultrasonic cleaner. Retails for $35, but I used a 20% off coupon. I'm gonna use it to clean my stainless steel silencers. The solution I'm going to use, uh, I got it AutoZone for about, I think it was like seven dollars. Purple power. It's pretty big. Uh, for my red online, uh, use about fifty percent purple power and fifty percent water. Now, some people say it doesn't work. They should use a mixture of uh, vinegar and uh, hydrogen peroxide. But I'm going to try this first. If this doesn't work, then I'll obviously get the other solution. So, open up my can. Now, you just want to put the baffles in there, not the tube, and the sparrows case. Little clamshells. Now this one has about eh, one to two hundred sh shots through it since its last cleaning. It was cleaned uh, by Capo Armory with their ultrasonic cleaner. I'm sure theirs is a little, a little bit better than mine. And this one I believe has around five hundred rounds through it. And this one's now being cleaned. This is the Spectre 2. These are break apart baffles. So that's the last baffle. Drop all these bad boys in there. Oh, that was, that was pretty hard. shot glass here now to dispose of this it's going to have lead in it it's a uh, it's going to be hazardous so make sure you drop it off your local place that does toxic stuff I think most firehouses do it I'm just gonna fill this up into a five gallon jug and just mark it a poisonous and then when it gets full I'll drop it off at hazmat so that's three of those let's put three waters now I know the purple power is definitely going to take a lot longer than if I use vinegar and hydrogen peroxide of the uh, purple power. And then half the water. You can see when you're done, you can just lift a little tray out. Get going.
I'll check back in, uh, let's say, two-hour increments. I had to relocate it because it has a three-minute timer, and I didn't know about that. So every three minutes it turns off. So then I gotta go press the little uh, on button. But, right there, just did it. Didn't even time that. So that's quite a bit of a hassle, but it's loud enough that it's pretty audible. It's been two hours. My hands a little dirty. I've been cleaning that bad boy. It's actually using this little brush right here on my Dremel. So let's take these guys out. It does look a lot cleaner. Sure, another another hour will uh, would have really got them real clean, but uh, I'm gonna take this to it real quick, and then I'll be right back. All right. So after two hours and a little wiping, little Dremel, just really light. You got varying states of clean. So that was pretty clean. That one's almost completely clean. Look at that. And some of them, not so much. Not that bad. So all I'm going to do is put them in there for another hour or so. Can't hold on to it. The ridges are still there. So that's not a big deal as long as it gets most of that fouling off. But besides the whole three minute thing, it, it, it's a good deal. Go get y'all an ultrasonic cleaner, guys. Let's get back to work. All right, just one more update. It's been three and a half hours. So pretty clean. I think next time I'll try the traditional dip. But it's pretty good. Some of the baffles that were at the bottom didn't get as clean as the ones towards the top. But pretty impressed. That's the juice right there. Looks nasty. Thanks for watching, guys.